This is the continuations of project risk management for portfolio program, page 103 out of 194. So this page, this uh, recording is 103 to 152 or 53. X 3.6 risk management control for portfolio value management. Risk management control and objectives for portfolio value management are provided in table X3-5. So in X3-5, there is a control ID and control objective. Control ID PFVAL, VEL, point one. Control objective is opportunities to increase value delivery are regularly identified and actively managed throughout the entire portfolio life cycle. Control IDPF VEL point two control objectives trend in enterprise environmental factor and changes to organizational process assets are regularly analyzed in order to identify risk that could potentially impact value delivery. PF Val point three portfolio is regularly reassessed and balanced from the organizational risk appetite and attitude perspective in order to ensure the right set. Of portfolio components pf ball point four key portfolio components risk are regularly assessed from the perspective of their impact on delivering ag expected value pf ball dot five technique used to components performance optimizations are assessed from the perspective of risk that can be impact value contribution pf val vel dot six technique and process selected for expected value negotiation for evaluated from the risk respective. So this is the control ID and control objectives. The following, the following factor should consider when identifying risk related to the opportunities to increase value delivery at the trends in enterprise environmental factor and changes to organizational process assets control PFVEL.1 and control PFVEL.2. Balancing of threat and opportunities within the portfolio and its components elements, market demand, market share, price of related product categories, cost of labor and materials, and supply of key talent and materials. The following factor should be considered when the portfolio is assessed and balanced from an organizational risk appetite and attitude perspective in order to ensure the right set of portfolio components to maximize delivery of value control, PF Val.3, alignment of components and portfolio vision, goals, and objective, alignment of individual stakeholder and organizational risk appetite and attitude at the project program and portfolio levels and integrations of operational risk into a balancing equation. The following factors should be considered when key portfolio components risk are assessed from the perspective of their impact on delivering expected value control PFVEL.4. Fit of the components scope to enable value realization continuation continuity of the sponsorship throughout the entire component life cycle ability to deliver key components deliverables necessary to realize value timing of delivery at the component level in relation to business case Timing of delivery at the component level in the context of value opportunity windows and overall cost at the component level in relation to business case. The following factors should be considered when technique use for components performance, optimization, and assessment. From the perspective of risk that can be impact value contribution, impact on the value contribution, Applicability of technique to the assessed items, applicability of timelines of data use in technique, and acceptance of technique by stakeholder. The following factor 
should be considered when identifying risk related to technique and processes selected for expected value negotiation. Focus on the right value, ability to match the strategic skills, appetite, and attitude, and inclusions of the appropriate stakeholder. Paragraph X 3.7 Risk Management Control for Portfolio Risk Management. Risk Management Control and Objective for Portfolio Risk Management are provided in Table X 3-6. Control ID and Control Objectives. Control ID PF RSK.1. Control Objective Risk related to the selections of particular risk management approach within the portfolio are identified analyzed and considered when developing the portfolio risk management frameworks and management plan PFRSK.2 risk management at the portfolio level includes identification and management of general portfolio risk and cumulative effect of components risk PFRSK.3 risk escalation policies are in place in order to ensure the optimal management of portfolio and components risk and to ensure the correct visibility of components level risk. This policy is reflected in the management plans at the component level. Control ID PF RSK.4 Control Objective There are clear policies for integrating components risk activities with enterprise risk management. The following factors should be considered when identifying risk related to section or particular risk management approach when the portfolio control PF RSK1 alignment with enterprise risk management processes, ability to match the organization's strategic risk attitude, ability to deal with expected portfolio complexity, fit to the organizational culture, level of risk transparency, ability to follow the approach by the key stakeholder, fit to categorize and level of risk expected in for the portfolio, clarity of integration with risk management approach at the component level, and speed of key processes in comparison with the dynamic of the portfolio environment. The following factors should be considered to ensure management of general portfolio risk and cumulative effect of component risk control PF RSK.2 management of risk that might occur as a result of the combinations of individual component risk and management of risk that appear only at the portfolio level and are beyond the scope of individual components even though these components may be within their impact. The following factors should be considered for risk escalation policies at the level of portfolio control PFRSK.3 level of, of potential impact potential interdependencies between portfolio components, risk categories in relation to competencies to handle certain types of risk, and authorization level of particular portfolio stakeholder. The following factors should be considered when integrating components risk activities within enterprise risk management control PFRSK.4, placement of risk-related decision authorities, stakeholder lines of communication, risk governance processes, and senior management processes and procedures. Appendix X4, Program Risk Management Control. The X.4, the purpose of the Program Risk Management Control. The purpose of risk management within the program is to secure optimal realizations of intended program benefits. Risk management control helps to achieve that by seamlessly integrating risk practices into the program life cycle and within all of the performance domain. This approach ensures that risk management becomes a natural part of program management and helps achieve success in benefits delivery by the program. The selections, tailoring, implementations, and monitoring of particular control in the given program are a part of the program governance activities, sections X 4.2 through X 4.7 provide risk management control for program risk management along with the examples of factor to consider 
for some of the control x point x 4.2 risk management control for program strategy alignment table x does one x4 does one provide risk management control for program strategy alignment control id and control objectives control ig pg point str dot one overall risk that could have a substantial impact on the program business case are identified early and addressed in the program business case pg str dot two risk related to the program risk management approach are identified and actively managed throughout the entire program life cycle program str dot three environmental assessment are conducted regularly in order to identify program level risk, special attention is given to those elements of the environmental that could impact the program critical success factor, CSFS. So that is a pro control ID and control objectives, PGSTR1 to PGSTR3. The following factors should be considered within when identifying overall risk related to the program business case, control PGSTR.1. Market trend. Emerging technologies, emerging product or services alternative to those delivered by the program, potential regulatory changes, and trend in key cost element, example, labor, material, or core services. The following factors should be considered when identifying risk related to program risk management approach, control PGSTR2, ability to align with the organization, strategic risk appetite, Ability to deal with expected program complexity, fit to the organizational culture, level of risk transparency, ability to key stakeholder to follow the approach, fit to the organizational risk tolerance, fit to the categorize of level of risk expected in the program, clarity of integration with the risk management approach at the component level, clarity of integration with the risk management approach at the portfolio level and organization's decision cycle as it relates to the speed of change within the program environment. X4.3 Risk Management Control for Program Benefits Management Table X does to provides risk management control for program benefits management composed of control id and control objectives control id pg bnf.1 to pg bnf.4 control id pg bnf.1 control objectives opportunities for new benefits to help to meet program objectives are regularly identified and actively managed throughout the entire program of life cycle pg bnf.2 opportunities to realize program benefits in a more efficient and or effective way are regularly identified and actively managed throughout the entire program of life cycle. PGBNF.3 threat that could potentially affect realizations of program benefits are regularly identified and addressed as required before program closure. PGBNF.4 threat that could potentially affect sustainability of the program benefits are regularly identified and addressed as required before program closure. The following factors should be considered when identifying risks that could potentially affect realizations and sustainability of the program benefits. Control PGBNF1 to control PGBNF.4. Market condition, change in political climate, continuity and leadership after components completion, and ability to resources to perform operations or other components necessary to realize benefits. X4.4 Risk Management Control for Program Stakeholder Engagement. Table X4-3 provides risk management control for program stakeholder engagement. Control ID and control objectives. Control ID PGSTK1 to control ID PGSTK8. And with corresponding control objectives, PGSTK.1 Risk related to key program stakeholder are regularly identified and actively managed throughout the entire program life cycle. PG is taking two decision to engage certain stakeholder at the program or components level are evaluated from the risk perspective. Program is taking that risk related to potential scope creep 
caused by key project stakeholders are regularly identified and actively managed throughout the entire program life cycle. PG is the key that for risk attitude of key program stakeholder is regularly assessed whenever there are differences between the stakeholder attitude and expected program risk level. Related risks are identified and actively managed. PG is the key five risk related to potential interactions, conflict of interest, and shared interest among key program stakeholders are regularly identified and actively managed throughout the entire program life cycle. PG is sticky six risk related to the selected categorization approach and method of stakeholder analysis are identified and addressed when planning program stakeholder engagement. PG is sticky seven risk related to selected communication technique and related communication infrastructure are identified and actively managed throughout the entire program life cycle. PG is the key point eight risk related to the scope frequency and forms of communication in the program level are identified and actively managed throughout the entire program life cycle. The following factors should be considered when identifying risk related to key program stakeholder and their potential influence on the program scope control PG is the key one and PG is the key two interest align or conflicting with program objectives, personal view, and preference areas of accountability and related program objectives, impact of program benefits on stakeholder objectives, types and level of decision power and ability to influence their stake other stakeholder. The following factors should be considered when evaluating decision to engage certain stakeholder at the program or components level from the risk perspective control PG is the key that three. Stakeholder ability to influence the program's delivery of benefits, ability to engage a given stakeholder at the program or components level, opportunities and threat from dealing with given stakeholder at the program level, and opportunities and threat from dealing with given stakeholder at the component level. The following factors should be considered when identifying and dealing with difference between the stakeholders' risk attitude and expected program risk level. Control PG is the key that for organizations and stakeholder risk attitude, business models of the organizations and program stakeholder, potential benefits and threat to the organization stakeholder business and governance processes within the external to the program. The following factors should be considered when identifying risk related to potential interaction conflict of interest and shared interest among key project stakeholder. Pro control PG is sticky that five. Shared and conflicting objectives, exist existing or potential coalition, personal conflict and organizational governance processes. The following factors should be considered when identifying risk related to selected communication technique and related communication infrastructure control PG is sticky seven. Ability to transmit certain forms of information, example visual, sound, or text, noise level, traceability of information, authentication level, familiarity of the stakeholder regarding the use of required technique and related technology reliability and availability of required technology, stakeholder access to the required technology and organizational governance processes. X 4.5 risk management control for program governance. Table X-4 provides risk management control for program governance. There is a con continuations of control ID and control objectives. Control ID PG Gov.1 to PG Gov.4 with corresponding control objectives. Control ID PG Gov.1 control objectives of risk related to program governance structure policies and procedure are regularly identified, reflected in the program governance and management document, and actively managed throughout the entire program life cycle. PGGov.2 risk resulting from the program complexity are regularly identified, reflected in the program's governance and management document, and actively managed throughout the entire program life cycle.
pgov.tree. All program components have effective risk management in place and its effectiveness is monitored on a regular basis. pgov for clear risk escalation policies are in place in order to ensure the optimal management of the program and components risk. These policies are reflected in the management plans at the component level. The following factor should be considered when identifying risk related to the program governance structure, policies and procedure, control pgov.1. For program governance structure, it's composed of complexity of overall governance structure, including the number of oversight committees, clearness of accountability, level of interdependencies, integrations with other structures within the organization, and degree of key stakeholder representation. For program policies and decision-making processes, complexity of processes for making a final decision, transparency, involvement of key stakeholder, fairness, time to make decision, information management system, and quality mechanism. The following factors should be considered when identifying risk resulting from program complexity control, PGGov.2, governance and decision making, account and diversity of stakeholder and their interest, geographic, geographical distribution, amount, nature, and degree of agreement on the definitions of benefits, amount, nature, and dynamic of interdependencies, amount, distributions, and dynamic of resources, amount, and natures of deliverables, sophistications, and dynamics of key processes, and amount, natures, and dynamics of external factor influencing the program. Risk escalation policies control pgov.4 are typically based on level of potential impact, potential interdependencies between program components, risk category categories in relation to competencies to handle certain types of risk and authorization level for particular program stakeholder. X4.6 risk management control for program life cycle management. Table X does X4 does by provides risk management control for program life cycle management. Control ID and control objectives. Control ID PGLFC.1 to PGLFC.4 with corresponding control objectives. Control ID PGLFC.1, control objectives of program definition piece, including program, program risk, identification, analysis, and response planning. All significant risks identified in these stages are addressed by the program governance and management document and are in integral parts of decision regarding formulation of the program, its objectives, and scope. PGLFC.2 components, authorizations, and planning activities include risk identification, analysis, and response planning. Major component risks are addressed at the earliest possible stage. PGLFC.3 components, oversight, and integration activities includes regular risk identification, analysis, response planning, and monitoring program risk potential costs by the components are identified and addressed as early as possible. PGLFC.4 components transition risk are addressed at the earliest possible stage preferred before components closure. The following factors should be considered when designing risk management policies, processes, and structures covering the program life cycle at all level, control PGLF1 to control PGLFC.4. Risk resulting from the decided program life cycle itself, nature of risk that could emerge within the program and the ability of the dealing with, the, with them to various program level, program complexity, and ability to reduce it by dealing with risk at the most effective level, potential effectiveness of the program and components management in regards to dealing with risk, potential for unknown, unknown, potential for residual and secondary risk and effect of high impact, very low probability, black swan event. X4.7 risk management control for supporting program activities. Table X-6 provides risk management control for supporting program activities 
composed of control ID and control objectives. PG is UP.1 to PG is UP.4. PG is UP.1 with corresponding control objectives. There are clear policies regarding handle risk within all supporting program activities. As part of these policies, relevant management control are established within each area of supporting activities. PG is UP.2. There are clear policies on what risk related to supporting activities are handled at the components versus the program level, including effective rules for risk escalation. PG supporting point three, SUP point three. There are clear policies for integrating program risk activity within enterprise risk management. PG SUP that for there are clear policies for integrating program risk activities with operation risk management. The following factors should be considered with regards to handling risk within all supporting program activities, whether the program components level or within the enterprise risk management processes control PG SUP1 to control PG SUP.3. It is important to establish effective policies on risk management within all supporting program activities Special attention to given to the rules regarding risk handling between the program and its components, including escalation mechanism. This includes ensures that there are no areas between the components and program level uncovered by the risk management practices. Supporting programs activities includes program change management, program communication management, program financial management, program information management, Program Procurement Management, Program Quality Management, Program Resource Management, Program Risk Management, Program Scheduled Management, Program Scoop Management. So, Change Management, Communication, Financial Information, Procurement Quality, Resource Risk, Resource Risk Management. Scheduled management and scope management. Even though the management of these activities at the program level often differs significantly from the way in which these are managed at the component level, the risk management control for the supporting program activities are similar in nature to those within the corresponding knowledge areas of the project see Appendix X5. Although operations generally are not parts of the program management, the risk associated with operations are addressed as part of program risk management. The integrations of operations with the program components project is an important part of the benefits realization equalizations and becomes critical when dealing with the certain agile practices. Where components works and operational tasks overlap, there is especially true in the mixed development and operations environment. The following factors should be considered when managing risk associated with the operations control PG SUP.4. Mutual impact of the program on operations and value creations within the organization, integrations of project work with the operations environment, decision authority of the project team versus the operations manager, and the decision authority of the program manager versus the operation manager. Appendix X5 Project Risk Management Control X5.1 The Purpose of the Project Risk Management Control The purpose of the risk management within the project is to secure the optimal delivery of the unique product service or result for which the project was undertaken. Risk Management Control helps to achieve optimal delivery by seamlessly integrating risk practices into the project life cycle and within all of the knowledge area. This approach ensures that risk management becomes a natural part of project management. The selection, tailoring, implementations, and monitoring of particular control is a given project are a part of the governance activities in all cases where the terms risk is used. Both residual and secondary risk should be considered when appropriate, Section X 5.2 through X 
provide risk management control for risk project risk management along with examples of factor to consider for some of the controls x5.2 risk management control for project integration management table x5-1 provide risk management control for project integration management control id and control objective so control id pr point n that one international or integration we are integration that one to PR integration that seven so PR I in P that one with corresponding control objectives so PR and that one control objective is overall project risk are identified when initiating the project and are taken into consideration when setting the project objectives and scope this usually occur as part of the business case analysis and includes analysis on the enterprise environmental factor and trend related to them lessons learned from past and current project are also taken into consideration organizations of the planning processes is analyzed to identify potential risk resulting from the inconsistent or incomplete project management planning and or inaccurate or incomplete business that is a prn2 prn3 opportunities to continuous improvement delivery of project deliverables are regularly identified in all project level pr and for when making decision on change request risk related to implementing or rejecting a change are taken into consideration pr and that five when making decision on change request risk related to implementing certain sets of chains at the same time or implementing them separately are taken into consideration prn6 whenever approval or denial of chains request introduce new risk into the project this risk are handled in accordance with agreed processes or the project risk management prn7 before closing a project risk related to the ability to realize the business case are reevaluated and their management is ensured to continue after project closure the following factors should be considered when identifying risk related to organizations of the planning processes and opportunities to continuous improve and delivery of project deliverables control prn that two and prn that three integration use of continuous process improvement effort as part of integrated quality program reactions of the stakeholder experience level of team members maturity of program teams project life cycle approach example predictive iterative incremental or agile and ability to address project complexity the following factors should be considered when identifying risk related to implementing or rejecting a change control prn.4 reactions of a stakeholder impact on further deliverables approval impact on other work unexpected additional cost or possibilities of cost reduction contractual consequence and regulatory consequences the following factors should be considered when identifying risk related to implementing certain sets of chains at the same times or implementing them separately control prn.5 interaction between changes impact on project complexity resource availability and, and capability and ability to manage multiple chains at once x5.3 risk management control for project scope management table x-5 x5 does to provide risk management control for project scope management control id pr scope scp.1 to pr scope scp.5 with corresponding control objectives pr scp.1 risk related to the project life cycle are taken into consideration when planning project scope management pr scp.2 risk resulting from environmental factor are taken into consideration when planning 
project scope management and developing the scope baseline PRSCP.3 risk related to the approach and method used to collecting, documenting, and updating requirements are taken into consideration when planning requirements management. PRSCP.4 risk related to the approach and method selected for product and project scope definition, decomposition, validations, and control are taken into consideration when planning project scope management. PRSCP.5 work performance information from scope control activities is regularly analyzed in order to identify potential new risk and detect materializations of previously identified risk. The following factors should be considered when identifying risk related to the project life cycle PRSCP1 for predictive life cycle, a level of expertise to a specified scope predictability of scope, ability to anticipate future requirements, ability to predict or control enterprise environmental factor, ability on an impact on ability to react to new opportunities that might arise during project execution and use of planning package and rolling wave planning. For iterative and incremental life cycle, stakeholders readiness to operate when limited scope definition, ability of decision makers to make scope decision regularly, ability to react timely to the result and lesson learned from previous iteration, readiness of stakeholder to receive partial result, ability to decompose scope onto work packages that could be executed within the agreed cycle, and impact on ability to react to new opportunities that might arise during project execution. For adaptive life cycle, in addition to those for iterative and incremental life cycles, ability to, achieve, to actively manage ongoing scope definition, readiness of accepting frequent major changes as the project progresses, and ability to deal with interdependencies in progressively developed scope. The following factors should be considered when identifying risk resulting from environmental factor control, PRSCP.2, changing market condition, changing political climate, and changing regulatory requirements. The following factor should be considered when identifying risk related to the approach and method used for collecting, documenting, and updating requirements control PRSCP.3 level of engagement of particular stakeholder, stakeholder availability and willingness to cooperate, stakeholder experience in the area. Stakeholder ability to predict their future needs, stakeholder ability to express their needs, exp impact on the requirements collection process and stakeholder expectation, cognitive biases, limitations of the chosen forms of documentation, Ability to conform the requirements of relevant stakeholder once they are documented. Ability to understand the requirements by those planning and executing project work and fundamental difference between high-level user or operational requirements and lower-level design or engineering requirements. The following factors should be considered when identifying risk related to approach and method selected from product and project scope definition decomposition, validations, and control, control PR, scope that for impact of the scope decomposition approach on the ability to accomplish the following delegation work, aggregation work, cooperation, optimizations of resource usage, and monitoring other aspects of the project such as time and cost, impact of the documentation approach, on the ability of accomplish of the following response of the changes, describe product, and work in accurate and an ambiguous way, and distribute up-to-date scope documents to relative stakeholder, ability to understand the scope by those who will execute project work, ability to work progresses objectively and ambiguously, and ability to prevent scope creep and gold plating. 
the following factors should be considered when identifying risk related to work performance information from scope control activities. Control PR scope 5, report tailoring and information and data delivery channel. X5.4 risk management control per project. Scheduled management table X5-3 provides risk management control for project scheduled management composed of control ID and control objectives. Control ID PR is scheduled 1 to a scheduled 6. PR is ACH.1 risk related to the project life cycle are taken into consideration when planning project scheduled management. PR ACH.2 risk resulting from environmental factor are taken into consideration when planning project schedule management and developing the project schedule baseline. PR schedule that three risk related to the approach and method selected for estimations of activities duration are taken into consideration when planning project schedule management. PR schedule that four the risk related to the approach and methods selected for sequencing activities are taken into consideration when planning is schedule, project is schedule management. PR is scheduled at five. The risk related to the approach and methods selected for schedule development and control are taken into consideration when planning project is schedule management. PR is scheduled at six. Work performance information from the scheduled control activities is regularly analyzed in, other, in order to identify potential new risk and detect materializations of previously identified risk. The following factors should be considered when identifying risk related to the project life cycle control PR schedule that one. For predictive life cycle, predictability of the scope, ability to estimate duration and resource need of the future activities, ability to predict Availability and capability of resources, ability to predict and control enterprise environmental factors, and use of planning package and the rolling wave planning. For iterative and incremental life cycle, stakeholders' readiness to operate on the general milestone schedule, ability to decision makers to make decisions regularly and on time, ability to deliver meaningful increment within the agreed durations of the, of the life cycle, ability to react in the timely manner to the result and lesson learned from previous iteration, ability of a key stakeholder including suppliers to keep sustainability peace, and ability to handle tasks that do it to their nature take longer than the agreed life cycle. For adaptive life cycle, in addition to those iterative and incremental life cycle, Stakeholders' readiness to operate within the changes of environment and ability to deal with interdependencies in an aggressively developed schedule. The following factors should be considered when identifying risk resulting from environmental factor. Control PR is scheduled at two. Natural environment condition, availability of key resources, timelines of external decision making, conflict with other components of the program or portfolio and conflict with external event. The following factor should be considered when identifying risk related to the approach and method selected for estimations of activity duration control PR schedule that three. Selections and competence of level of expert, availability and incredibility of data resources, familiarity with selected tools and technique of estimation, Adequacy of estimation models, historical accuracy, and similarly estimated duration and estimating approach. The following factors should be considered when identifying risk related to the approach and method selected for sequencing activities, control PR schedule that poor level of interdependencies, stakeholder risk appetite, and at attitude level. Likelihood of change, impact of potential delay and accelerated deliverables, impact of the resource constraint, impact of increase, work backlog, and impact of work in progress. The following factors should be considered when identifying risk related to the approach and methods selected for scheduled development 
and control PR, schedule PR.6. Ability to cover really relevant aspect of scheduling in the particular project, such as planning in time, managing interdependencies, managing resource allocation, managing logistics and handling reserve. Familiarity with the tools used as measured by the following. Ability to address project complexity. Ability to use the tools to optimize the schedule. Ability to integrate planning effort with other key stakeholders. Ability to deliver in timely manner relevant performance data for key stakeholders. And ability to visualize schedule <coughs> and progress. <coughs> X5.5 Risk Management Control for Project Cost Management Table X-4 Table X-5-4 Provide Risk Management Control for Project Cost Management Control ID PR CST Control Control CST.1 to PR CST.5 With corresponding control objectives PR control.1 risk related to project life cycle are taken into considerations when planning project cost management. PR cost CST.2 risk resulting from environmental factor are taken into consideration when planning project cost management and developing the cost baseline. PR CST.3 risk related to approach and method selecting for cost estimation are taken into consideration when planning project cost management. PRCST.4 risk related to the approach and method selecting for determining budget and cost control are taken into consideration when planning project cost management. PRCST.5 work performance information from cost control activities are regularly analyzed in order to identify potential new risk and detect materializations of the previously identified risk. The following factors should be considered when identifying risk related to the project life cycle. Control PR CST. That one. For predictive life cycle, predictability of the scope, availability, ability to estimate durations and resource needs of the future activities, Stakeholder readiness to provide financing without immediate benefits, ability to protect, to predict, and, co and control enterprise environmental factors, and use of planning package and rolling wave planning. For, iter for iterative and incremental life cycle, stakeholders readiness to provide financing for partially met customer or user requirements during an incremental development. Availability of decision makers to make decisions regularly and on time. Unique qual level of funding required in specific iterations or increments and ability to react timely to the result and lesson learned from previous iterations or increment. For adaptive life cycles, in addition to those iterative or incremental life cycle, stakeholders readiness to provide financing within the changing environment and ability to deal with unexpected expenses in a progressively developed budget. The following factors should be considered when identifying risk resulting from environmental factor control PRCST.2 partners and suppliers need for financing, market condition, cost of materials and resources, currency rates, stakeholder ability to provide financing, policies of financing organization, and contractual condition. The following factor could be considered when identifying risk related to the approach and method selected for the cost estimation, control PRCST.3, selections and competence level of expert, availability of a credibility of data sources, familiarity with selected tools and technique of estimation, adequacy of estimation models and historical accuracy 
of similarly estimated cost. The following factor should be considered when identifying risk related to the approach and method selected for determining budget and cost control, control PR, CST.4. Ability to cover relevant aspects of financial management in the particular project such as planning for monitoring of and allocating cost to particular work package or planning packages, planning, monitoring, and allocating expenses in time, planning, monitoring, and allocating of cash flow, handling settlement, handling multi-currency operation, and handling reserve. Ability to match cost with scope and scheduled performance. Familiarity with the tools used. Ability to address project complexity. Ability to use the tools to optimize the budget. Ability to integrate planning effort with other key stakeholders. Ability to deliver in a timely fashion in relevant performance data for key stakeholders. And ability to visualize the budget and its condition in key areas. X5.6 Risk Management Controls for Project Quality Management Table X5-5 provides risk management control for project quality management Control ID PR Quality QLT.1 to PRQLT.6 PRQLT.1 Risk Relative to Project Life Cycles are taken into consideration when planning project quality management PR quality that to risk resulting from environmental factor are taken into consideration when planning project quality management. PR quality that three risk related to the approach and method selected for managing quality are taken into consideration when planning project quality management. PR quality that for risk related to the approach and method selected for quality control are taken into consideration when planning project quality management. PR quality.5 opportunities for continuous process improvement are identified and actively managed throughout the entire project life cycle, including implementations of accessible and effective decision making processes in this area. PR quality.6 work performance information from quality control activities is regularly analyzed in order to identify potential new risk and detect materializations of the previously identified risk. The following factor should be considered when identifying risk related to the project life cycle. Control PR Quality 1 For predictive life cycle, predictability of the scope, ability to determine stakeholder requirement, quality requirements, Ability to decision makers make quality related decisions supporting the project change management system. Ability to deliver when the agreed quality metrics. Ability to determine or predict regulatory requirements on quality and use of planning package and a rolling wave planning. For iterative incremental and adaptive life cycle, ability to define quality requirements while having a limited predictability of the scope. Ability to decision makers to make quality related decision regularly and on time. Ability to deliver within the agreed quality metrics and deliver life cycle. Ability to timely determine regulatory requirements on quality of evolving deliverables. Ability to ensure that regulatory requirements regarding results are met whenever deliverables are handled over for use and ability to React timely to the result and lesson learned from previous iterations or increment. The following factors should be considered when identifying risk resulting from environmental factor control, PR quality.2, potential changes to regulations, norms, and standard, natural environment condition potentially impacting quality, fitness for use, ability of third parties to deliver quality and adapt to potential changes and ability of independent third parties to control quality. The following factors should be considered when identifying risk related to the approach and method selected for managing quality, control PR quality that three, distributions of attention between prevention, assurance, detection, control, and corrective action, extent to which stakeholders are involved in quality effort, motivations of mo mobilization means use to drive quality effort, Availability and correctness of data for data-driven quality management and availability of quality visualization tools and technique.
The following factors should be considered when identifying risk related to the approach and method selected for managing quality. Control PR quality.4 ability to select and measure key quality metrics, accuracy and measurement effectiveness of sampling, ability to observe trend in quality metrics and existence and effectiveness of root cause identification method. The following techniques should be used for identifying opportunities for process improvement control PR quality.5. Plan do check at PDCA cycle. Quality circles, regular project retrospective, lesson learned, lane management, and theory of constraint. X5.7 Risk Management Control for Project Resource Management. Table X5.6 Provide Risk Management Control for Project Resource Management. Control ID and Control Objective. PR res.1 resource, PR resource.1 to PR resource.6. Control ID PR res.1 risk related to project life cycle are taken into consideration when a planning project resource management and resource needs. Risk resulting PR res.2 risk resulting for environmental factor for are taken into consideration when planning project resource management and resource needs. PR risk that three risk related to the approach and method selected for resource estimation are taken into consideration while planning re project resource management and resource needs. PR risk that for risk related to the approach and method selected for resource acquisition are taken into consideration when planning project resource management and resource needs. PR risk that five risk related to the approach and method selected for team development and management are taken into consideration when planning project resource management and are managed throughout the entire project life cycle. PR risk that seeks work performance information from resource control activities is regularly analyzed in order to identify potential new risk and detect materializations of previously identified risk. The following factors should be considered. When identifying risk related to the project life cycle, control PR risk that one. For predictive life cycles, a predictability of the scope, ability to predict resource needs, ability to predict resource availability, ability to predict resource capability, ability to change resource ability or capability in response to potential changes, and use of planning package and rolling wave planning. For iterative, incremental, and adaptive life cycles, stakeholder readiness to engage resources, flexible ability to decision makers to make resource decision regularly, readiness of the project team to operate the changing environment, and ability to the project team to maintain a sustainable space. For following factors should be considered when identifying risk resulting from environmental factor, control PR risk does too. General availability of resources need, historical resource availability cycles, other initiatives that might impact resource availability, market conditions for key resources such as talent, materials, and equipment, and competitive over key resources. The following factors should be considered when identifying risk related to the approach and method selected for resource estimation. Control PR risk that three. Selections and competence level expert, availability and credibility of data sources, familiarity with selected tools and technique of estimation, adequacy of estimation models, and historical accuracy of similarly estimated duration. The following factors should be considered when identifying risk related to the approach and method selected for resource acquisition, control PR risk that for effectiveness of the acquisition technique and their given condition, impact of the project acquisition effort on resource cost, ability to verify key resources characteristic, project information security in the context of acquisition communication, ability to sustain knowledge and intellectual property in the context of contractual condition and acquisition lead times. 
the following factors should be considered when identifying risk related the, to the approach and method selected for the team development control PR risk that type degree to which team members already know each other existing relation in the team psychological characteristic of the team member management style of the project manager and organization stakeholder corporate climate and organizational process assets natural motivators of the team members mobilization system in the organization time and resource available for team building geographical distributions of the team amount of time the team will spend together available communication technologies availability to effectively deal with conflict and cultural differences x 5.3 5.8 risk management control for project communication management table x 5.7 provide risk management control for project communication management control id pr com that one pr communication one to pr communication five with the responding control objectives pr com that one risk related to the project life cycle are taken into consideration when planning project communication management pr com that two risk resulting from environmental factor are considered when planning project communication management pr com that three risk resulting from the potential impact of certain information or data being delivered or withheld from certain stakeholder are taken into consideration when planning project communication management risk related to approach and method selected for communication management and monitoring are even are taken into consideration when planning project communication management that is a pr com that for pr com that five work performance data from communication monitoring activities are regularly analyzed in order to identify potential new risk and detect materializations of previously identified risk the following factors should be considered when identifying risk related to the project life cycle control pr com that one for predictive life cycle ability to predict communication needs of the stakeholder ability to respond to unexpected event and changes and stakeholder readiness to receive and respond communication as agreed for iterative incremental and adaptive life cycle ability to continuous adapt communication to the changing project environment and the stakeholders readiness to regularly receive and response to communication in line with the dynamics of the delivery cycle the following factors should be considered when identifying risk resulting from environmental factor control pr com that two communications of the other key stakeholder including competition government non-government organization and local community leader background information and noise and impact of media the following factors should be considered when identifying resulting from the potential impact of certain informations or data being delivered to or withheld with certain stakeholder control pr com that three importance of provided information of data from a stakeholder perspective a scope of information or data necessary for a stakeholder to engage in a desired way importance to deliver a given piece of information or data from the project perspective consequence of withholding information of data and immediate delivery of information consequence of hiding and communicating information or data and regulatory and contractual requirements and consequences the following factors should be considered when identifying risk related to the approach and methods selected for communication management and monitoring control pr com that for a scope of information or data necessary for the stakeholder to engage a desired way cultural differences and differences to use certain style and method of communication available communication technologies and expected technological advancement advantage of and limitations of certain communication channel technique and tools communication competencies of key project stakeholder ability of information or data we needed by stakeholder and possibility of information or data overload taking into consideration from other simultaneous project x 5.9 
risk management control for project risk management table x 5 does it provides risk management control for project risk management control id pr risk that one RSK.1 to RSK-10.10 with corresponding control objectives PR RSK.1 Rest related to project life cycle are taken into consideration when planning project risk management PR Rest.2 Rest related to the ability to determine the level of the key stakeholder risk appetite or attitude and the level of their per appetite or attitude are taken into consideration when planning risk Project risk management, PR or project risk, that three, risk related to approach and method selected for risk identification, analysis and monitoring are taken into consideration when planning project risk management, PR risk, that four, lessons learned from past and current project are taken into consideration when identifying project risk and ways to respond to them. Project risk that by work performance report are used continuously to identify potential new risk and reevaluate risk identified previously. PR risk that seek secondary and residual risk are identified, analyzed, and addressed when planning risk response. PR risk that seven risk response are reflected in all relevant project management plans and baseline. We are risk that it work performance information from risk monitoring activities is regularly analyzed in order to evaluate effectiveness of the risk management, identify potential risk, potential new risk, and reevaluate or detect the materializations of previously identified risk. We are risk that nine output from risk monitoring activities are used to continuously improve the project approach and method. Use for risk management, PR risk that then risk information and data for effective decision making are available and adequate to the complexity of the project. The following factors should be considered when identifying risk related to project life cycle control PR risk that one. For predictive life cycle, predictability of the scope, ability to predict and control enterprise environmental factor. Ability to identify and manage risk in key project areas. Stakeholder willingness to invest in uncertain elements of the project that are expected to be predictable. And the use of planning package and rolling wave planning. For iterative and incremental life cycle, ability to of decision makers to make risk related decision regularly and on time. Stakeholder readiness to provide financing of risk identified as the project progresses and ability to react in a timely manner to the result and lesson learned from previous iteration. For adaptive life cycle, in addition to those for iterative and incremental life cycle, stakeholder readiness to deal with largely unpredictable risk and stakeholder readiness to operate without detailed long-term risk analysis. The following factors should be considered when identifying risk related to the approach and method selected for risk identification analysis and monitoring, ability to identify risk in all key areas, ability to focus on the right risk, accuracy of risk information or data from perspective of the ability of plan precise risk response, expertise needed to effectively identify, analyze, and monitor risk in certain areas accountability for managing risk in key areas of the project and continuity and regular regularity of the identification analysis and monitoring processes. X5.10 risk management control for project procurement management. Table X5-9 provide risk management control for project procurement management control ID project pro Procurement PR Pro.1 to PR Pro.8. PR Pro.1 Control with corresponding objectives. Risk related to the project life cycle are taken into consideration when planning procurement management. PR Pro.2 Risk resulting from environmental factor are taken into consideration when planning project procurement management. 
PR product re make or buy decision include risk identification analysis. The risk resulting from this decision are managed according to the risk management plan. PR product for risk related to the proposed supplier selection criteria are taken into consideration when planning project procurement management. PR product five risk related to the proposed contract types are taken into consideration when planning project procurement management. The risk resulting from the final agreement are managed according to the risk management plan. PR product six risk related to the approach and method selected for conducting procurement are taken into consideration when planning project procurement management. PR product seven risk related to approach and method selected for controlling procurement and nature of approach, a proposed potential follow-up strategies are taken into consideration when planning project procurement management, work performance information, PR product it, work performance information from procurement control activities, especially the suppliers' performance and the nature of claims is regularly analyzed in order to identify potential new risk and detect materializations of previously identified risk. The following factors should be considered when identifying risk related to project life cycle control PR. Product 1. For predictive life cycle, predictability of the scope, use of planning package and rolling wave planning, and ability to predict and control enterprise environmental factor, especially market condition, availability of the suppliers we needed, the availability of goods and service we needed. For iterative, life, iterative, incremental, and adaptive life cycle, ability to purchase long lead time goods and services, ability to purchase goods and service while having limited scope information in advance, ability to decision makers to make procurement related decision regularly and on time, ability to evaluate and use new supplier on short notice, Ability to conduct procurement in a timely manner to ensure and executions of the project is not slowed by the process. Flexibility of the supplier contract and ability to react in the timely manner to the result and lesson learned from previous iteration. The following factors should be considered when identifying risk resulting from environmental factor. Control PR, PRO.2 Pro. General available, availability of goods and service needed, availability of seller, historical goods and service availability cycles, other initiatives that might impact goods and service availability, market conditions for key goods and service to acquire, competitions over key goods and service, and regular regulatory requirements when purchasing certain goods and services. The following factors should be considered when identifying risk related to the resulting from make or buy decision, control PR product three, competence and intellectual property needs, availability of capability and capacity, degree of control over delivery, impact on other project activities and deliverables, and risk related to specific third parties considerations in process. The following factors should be considered when identifying risk related to the proposed supplier selection criteria control PR product for ability to balance cost and quality requirements, ability to address supplier willingness, and ability to tighten cooperation, ability to recognize historical performance of the supplier, ability to integrate into team level action to support a small teamwork in near real time. Ability to recognize supplier culture and degree to which criteria cover risk area that are planned to be transferred to the supplier. The following factors should be considered when identifying risk related to the contract types PR, product type, willingness and ability to customer and supplier to manage certain type of risk, level of risk, balance between parties, adequacy of the contract scope to the project needs. Secondary risk of transferring certain risk contractually, residual risk on the customer side after transferring some parts of risk contractually, and adequacy of the contract to the project life cycle, especially considering responsibilities, approach to scope, 
management, and performance metrics. The following factors should be considered when identifying risk related to the approach and method for conducting procurement control PR product 6. Ability to create a level playing field between supplier. Ability to finalize procurement on time. Ability to attach, attract the right supplier. Ability to address opportunities and threat arising during the process. Opportunity to use supplier expertise to provide optimal solution. Ability to recognize actual quality of purchase goods or services and ability to meet regulatory requirements when purchasing given goods or services. The following factors should be considered when identifying risk related to the approach and method selected for controlling procurement and nature of proposed potential follow-up strategies control PR product 7 criticality of goods or services from the project perspective experience and competence level of the supplier, nature of control when a focus on the balance between preventive, detective, and corrective actions, adequacy of the performance metrics to the selected project life cycle, level of trust, and impact on relation. X5.1 Risk Management Control for the Project Stakeholder Management Table X-5 X5-10 provide risk management control per project, stakeholder, management, control ID, control objective, PR is sticky that one to PR is stakeholder that four. PR is sticky that one risk related to project life cycle are taken into consideration when planning project stakeholder management. PR is sticky two. Risk resulting from environmental factor are taken into consideration when planning project stakeholder management. We are stakeholder that three rate risk related to the approach and method selected for monitoring and managing stakeholder engagement are taken into consideration when planning project stakeholder management. We are sticky for information from project stakeholder management control activities is regularly analyzed in order to identify potential new risk and detect materializations of previously identified risk. The following factors should be considered when identifying risk related to project life cycle control PRST key that one. For predictive life cycle ability to identify the engaged key stakeholder early. Stakeholder ability to willingness to predict their future requirements, stakeholder readiness to invest time in planning effort, stakeholder ability and willingness to deal with potential mistake in the planning stage of the project, and stakeholder understanding and willingness to deal with potential risk that could restore predictability. For iterative and incremental life cycle, stakeholder willingness to accept and incomplete definitions of product scope Stakeholder readiness to work with partially defined and incomplete deliverables and stakeholder ability to react to the result and lesson learned from previous iterations in a timely manner. For adaptive life cycles, in addition to those for iterative and incremental life cycles, ability to deal with unexpected new stakeholders appearing as the project evolves stakeholder readiness to work with largely and I define deliverables and the stakeholder readiness to operate without a predictive long-term budget and a schedule tied to a specific deliverables. The following factors should be considered when identifying risk resulting from environmental factor control PR is taking that to potential mutual impact of key external stakeholder includes supplier competition, government, non-government organization, local community leaders, and media. Organizational structure, organizational risk tolerance, capacity, and appetite. Trend in market condition, trend in political climate, and trend in regulatory requirements. The following factors should be considered when identifying risk related to the approach and methods selected for monitoring and managing stakeholder engagement control PRST key.3 
stakeholders' willingness to engage in the desired manner impact on stakeholder ability to deliver cooperation culture, impact on overall relation, level of trust, maturity of individuals, team maturity, risk attitude and appetite of individuals, cultural differences, advantage and limitations of a certain engagement method, and ability of personnel to manage stakeholder engagement. Appendix XX, XX Appendix Technique for the Risk Management Frameworks. Many techniques are in widespread use to support risk management processes. This appendix provides examples of highlights some of the most common and effective techniques that supports the risk management life cycle. This information is not intended to explain the technique in details but lists their most important characteristics. Those who are interested in learning more are encouraged to seek additional resources, sources of information. There are three major types of technique, templates and list, templates and list, process technique, and quantitative technique. Templates are, and list are designed to reflect industry and internal benchmark, the best practices, as well as a lesson learned. Process techniques makes it easier to manage the risk management process and range from the basic documents and the spreadsheet to automated process. Quantitative technique supports the analytical aspects of considering options and consequence in definitive term. The following section describes some of the more popular technique for each stage of the risk management frameworks. This list is not exhaustive and several techniques are useful for more than one stage. Section X 6.8 maps technique the risk management stage where they are they may be useful from some techniques are useful for more than one stage. X6.1 Risk Management Planning Plan risk management defined approach to be followed for managing risk throughout the life cycle of the corresponding portfolio program or project planning. Planning sessions are recommended in order to build common understandings of the risk approach between a stakeholder and the gain agreement on the technique to be used for managing risk. The risk management planning piece is usually supported by templates. The result of risk management planning are documented in the risk management plan and an overview of the key area of focus is provided on figure X6-1. People, tools, and business, people, attitude, roles, and responsibilities, authority, communication, tools, toolbox, parameters, and definition, business, constraint, amount of details, and effort. X6 does one key area of focus for plan risk response, people, tools, and business. Depending upon the size of complexity of the work, some of all of the following elements are present in risk management plan. Introductions, portfolio program or project description, risk management methodology, risk management organization, roles, responsibilities and authority, stakeholder risk appetite, criteria of success, risk management technique and guidelines for use, threshold and corresponding definition, templates, communication management plan, strategy and risk breakdown structure there are several software tools available to assist with risk management planning while not discussed here many of the technique listed on the following sections are incorporated in risk management software x6.2 identify risk risk identification is carried out in order to develop comprehensive list of all known uncertainties that could have an effect on the portfolio, program, or project. All risk identification techniques have strengths and weaknesses. Best practices suggest using more than one technique to identify risk to compensate for any one technique shortcoming and the increased risk identification rates. The main assumptions in identifying risk is that bias and an array of human behavior patterns stands on the way 
of identifying a known risk, identify the wrong risk, or emphasizing or prioritizing the wrong risk. Some risk identification techniques are more helpful in identifying threat than opportunities or vice versa. It is important to balance the technique used to target both threat and opportunities. Whichever risk identification technique are used, it is important that identified risks are unambiguous described in order to ensure that the risk process is focused on the actual risk and not distracted or diluted by non-risk use of the structured risk description can ensure clarity. Risk meta, meta language offers useful way of distinguishing a risk form it causes an effect by describing its risk using a three-part statement in the following form. As a result of cause, risk may occur, which would lead to effect the relationship between cause risk and effect it's shown in figure x6-2 cause risk effect cause fact or condition risk are set uncertainty effect possible result figure x-2 the relationship between cause risk and effect risk can be identified based on the checklist and templates individual assessment group risk assessment external risk identification etc Individual assessment are performed by single individual, whether an expert, stakeholder, or other particular participants. Individual risk assessment can be combined to create the overall risk register. Outside risk assessment can be generated by the Enterprise Risk Management ERM functions with the organization to provide by an outside source such as customer or supplier. Section X6.2.1 through X6.2.14 describe some of common technique for risk identification. Refer to section 6.8 for other risk management frameworks stage where the technique may prove useful as well. X6.2.1 assumptions and constraint analysis. Assumptions are used to de determine risk impact. There are statements accepted as true but need to be validated and continually reviewed during the iteration process and throughout the risk management work related to portfolio. Program and project life cycle. This technique requires three steps. Let's test the validity and identify impact on project, program, or portfolio. An example is shown in figure X6-3. Assumption or constraint. Could this assumption or constraint prove false, yes or no? If false, would it affect project, yes or no? Convert to a risk. Example of constraint analysis with field for descriptions analysis result. Figure X6-3. Another way of approaching assumptions and constraint analysis is to use the following logic sequence. Less the assumptions or constraint Face the assumptions or constraint by asking two questions. Could the assumption or constraint be false? If if were false, would one or more objective be affected, positively or negative? Where both questions are answered, yes, generate a risk, for example, in the form of assumption slash constraint, may prove false leading to effect on objectives. X6.2.2 brainstorming. Brainstorming is a technique for generating spontaneous ideas either individually or from a group of people. When brainstorming is used as a group press identification method, the ideas and through of one individual serve to stimulate ideas in the other participants. X6.2.3 cause and effect Ishikawa diagram. The cause and effect diagram of fear or fishbone diagram, see figure X6-4, is used to display root cause of risk visually, allowing deeper understanding of the source and likelihood of potential problem. The content is organized into a branching diagram where the cause may themselves have multiple potential sources so that the overall, the overview on risk stimulates additional thinking. The cause and effect diagram is to use 
to identify quality related problem so the x six that's for example of cause and effect diagram or ishikawa diagram is composed of arrow environment ambition career perspective stop living okay there's a door so in the environment in the ambition variety challenges recognition so it's a satisfaction in career prospect it's a basic pay pension car and health so that is remuneration so you start living x6 2.4 checklist rest identification checklist can be developed based on historical information and unknown and knowledge that has been accumulated from previous similar portfolios program or project and and from other source of information the lowest level of a risk breakdown structure can also be used as a risk checklist. For example, of the risk checklist is shown in figure X6-5. Risk category, technical risk, subcategory, scope definition. Example of risk, scope change may arise during project redundant scope may be discovered, technical interference. Could this risk affect or the project, yes or no? Don't know, not applicable. Risk category, subcategory, example of risk. Example of partial or checklist within the typical structure of category, subcategory, specific risk and effect. While checklist can be quick and simply it is impossible to build an exhaustive one, care should be taken into explore item that do not appear on checklist. The checklist should be re reviewed during closure to improve it for use in future. X6.2.5 DELPI technique. The DELPI technique uses facilitated anonymous pooling for subject matter expert to identify risk in their area of expertise. The facilitator gathers the expertise initial response and circulates them without attributions to their entire group and group members may them revise their contributions based on those of others the process often generates a consensus of the expert after few iterations x6.2.6 document review a structured review may be performed of documentation including plans assumptions prior to portfolio program or project files and other information the quality of the plans as well as the consistency between those plans and the assumptions can be indicators of risk. X6.2.7 Expert Judgment Expert Judgment is the contribution provided to risk identification based on expertise on the subject area, industry, segment, organizational processes, etc. X6.2.8 Facilitation Facilitation is the ability to effectively guide group event to the successful decision solution or conclusion. A facilitator ensure that there is effective participation and that all contributions are considered. X6.2.9 Historical information Historical records and data from past project programs and portfolio helps to identify common risk and prevent repeating mistake. X6.2.10 Interviews interview experience project program portfolio participants stakeholder and subject matter expert can identify risk interviews are one of the main source of the risk identification gathering x6.2.11 prompt list prompt list enumerate risk categories with the purpose of the per detecting the most relevant to the project program or portfolio the program list can be useful as a frameworks for brainstorming and interview categories of risk includes technical risk, organizational risk, and external risk. There are different types of prompt list. Figure X 6 does 6 provides example of some of the better known ones. <clears throat> Figure X does 6, three well known examples of prompt list that can be used on risk identification PISTEL, TICOP, and SPECTRUM. In PISTEL, Political, economic, social, technological, legal environment. In TCOP, T A C O P, technical, environmental, commercial, operational, and political. In spectrum, socio cultural, political, economic, competitive, technology, regulatory, legal, uncertainty, risk, and market.
So that is the figure six, the six, three ways known example of prompt list that can be useful in risk identification. X6.2.12 questionnaire. Questionnaire technique encourage broad thinking to identify risk. However, it requires quality question to be effective. X6.2.13 root cause analysis. Root cause analysis helps to identify additional dependent risk. The identified risk may be related because of their common causes. Root cause analysis can be based on the development preempted and comprehensive response and can serve to reduce apparent complexity. In one way of diagramming root cause is shown in figure X6-7. X6-7 example of root cause analysis. Ignoring piece entry prerequisites is composed of two. Incorrect report, incomplete requirements. So in, in incorrect reports, the males trust and repeated audit. In incomplete requirements, rework, extra cost, schedule, sleep, and low morale. So that is the examples of root cost analysis. X6.2.14, SWOT analysis. SWOT is strength, weaknesses, opportunities, and threat is WOT. Is a technical and examines the initiative for each of the SWOT perspectives to increase the breadth, the breadth of considered risk. It ensure equal focus on both threat and opportunities. This technique focus on internal organizational strength and weaknesses, and external opportunities and threat factors. A method of structuring the result of SWOT analysis is shown in Figure Six. Does it? Figure 6 does it example of SWOT analysis is step 1 and step 2. In step 1, we have uh, strength and weaknesses. So step 1, identify the list organizational strength and weaknesses using brainstorming. The strength is S1, S2, and the weaknesses is W1, W2, etc. In step 2, derive opportunities from strength and threat from weaknesses using risk meta language so if there is an opportunity and threat opportunity is either 1.1 and 1.2 and uh, 2.1 etc and the threat is t 1.1 and t 1.2 it's connected to s1 s2 and w1 and 2 it's connected to step one so this is the end of uh, page 102 to 152 of the project risk management so the next uh, the next and the last recorded is x6.3 qualitative risk analysis in page 150 53 this is the continuations of project risk management for portfolio program page 103 out of 194 so this this uh, recording is 103 to 152 or 53 x 3.6 risk management control for portfolio value management risk management control and objectives for portfolio value management are provided in table x3-5 so in X3-5, there is a control ID and control objective. Control ID, PF, VAL, VEL, point 0.1, control objective.